여러분 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 오늘 마가복음 1장 21절부터 있는 말씀을 읽겠습니다. Today we will read from Mark chapter 1 verse 21. 저희 가버나움에 들어가니라 예수께서 안식일에 해당에 들어가 가르치심에 And they went into Capernaum and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. 무 사람이 그의 교훈에 놀라니 이는 그 가르치는 것이 권세 있는 자와 같고 저희 And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. 마침 제 해당에 더러운 귀신 들린 사람이 있어 소리 질러 가로대. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out. 나살 예수여, 나 우리가 당신과 뭔 상관이 있나이까? 우리를 멸하러 왔나이까? 난 당신 누군지 아는 하나님 거룩한 자니이다. Saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee, who thou art, the Holy One of God. 예수께 꾸짖어 가라지 한자와 그 사람을 나와라 하시니. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. 더러운 귀신 그 사람을 경 And when the unclean spirit had torn him, he cried out with a loud voice. He came out of him. Can we read two verse twenty-six? 예수님은 우리하고 다르십니다. Jesus is different from us. 하나님이십니다. He is God. 더 중요한 것은 more importantly 어느 시대고 참된 하나님의 종이 있고 반대로 종교적인 사람들이 있습니다. No matter the time period, there was the true servants of God, and on the other hand, just religious people. 참된 하나님의 종은 하나님 말씀을 말씀하시고. The true servants of God speak the word of God. 하나님 능력이 그와 함께 하고 계십니다. And the power of God is with him. 예를 들어 말하자면은. For example, 예수님을 믿습니다. We believe in Jesus. 예수 우리 죄로의 십자에 못 박혀 죽은 다 압니다. Everyone knows Jesus died on the cross for our sins. 그런데 예수 십자에 못 박혀 죽었다고 하면서 Even though people say Jesus died for their sins, 죄인이라고 하는 사람들이 많습니다. There are many people who say that they are sinners. 제가 이런 이야기를 여러 번 했는데 And I've talked about this many times. 한번 대구에서 큰 집회를 했습니다. Once at a big conference in Daegu. 대구의 한그 신문 기자가 찾아왔습니다. And a newspaper reporter from Daegu came to see me. 잠깐만 인터뷰를 합시다. Pastor, could I have an interview with you? 아, 예, 좋습니다. I said, sure. 목사님 교회와 다른 교회가 차이가 뭡니까? Pastor, what's the difference between your church and other churches? 그 어떻게 한마디로 일할 수 있느냐고, 이야기할 수 있냐고. I said, there is no short answer for that. 그 제가 이야기를, 그 교회 나가보셨습니까? But I asked him a question, do you go to church? 아, 한 번도 안 나가봤다고. He answered, I've never been to church. 예수님이 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으신 걸 아십니까? Did you know that Jesus died on the cross? 아, 그거야 알지요. Well, yeah, I've heard of that. 아, 왜 죽으셨습니까? Why did he die? 우리 죄를 위해 죽었다면서요? I heard that he died for our sins. 아, 아주 정확하게 말씀하셨어요. Yes, you're exactly right. 자, 그 다음 이야기인데요. And then what came afterwards? 예수님이 우리의 죄를 다 대신 십자에 못 박혀 죽으셨습니다. Jesus died on the cross for the place of our sins. 그러면 죄가 사해진 겁니까? 죄가 그냥 남아 있는 겁니까? Then are our sins forgiven or do our sins remain? 아니 예수님 십자에 못 박혀 우리 죄를 죽은 우리 죄가 다 사해진 게 맞지요. Well, if Jesus was crucified, then that's right, our sins should be all forgiven. 아 정말 정확하게 대답했습니다. And he gave very exact answer. 그런데 오늘 많은 교회는 But many churches today, 예수 우리 죄를 위해 십자에 못 박혀 죽었다고 말하고, they say that Jesus died for their sins. 슬퍼하고 하면서도, and they're sad about that, but 죄인이라고 말합니다. They say that they are sinners. 그게 이제 문제입니다. And that is the problem. 성경 말씀을 그냥 그대로 받아들인 것이 아니라, instead of accepting the words of the Bible exactly as they are, 자기가 죄인이라고 생각, 죄인이라고 받아들이는 거죠. Because they think of themselves as sinners, they just accepted that they're sinners. 기자가 나한테 물었습니다. So the reporter asked me, 정말 교회 다니면 죄인이라고 한 사람이 있습니까? Do people who go to church really say that they're sinners? 가서 물어보세요. I told them go ahead and ask them. 그 사람 뭐 믿습니까? Then what do they believe? 그분이 진짜 그날 물어봤던 것 같아요. And I think he really went out that day and asked. 제 기사를 썼는데 광고면 놔두고 종교는 거의 다 채워 정말 잘 쓰셨어요. He wrote an article about me, a page in the whole religious section, and he wrote a really good article about me. 만일에 예수님이 우리 주의 십자에 못 박혀 죽으셨는데, if Jesus died on the cross for our sins, 죄인으로 그냥 남아 있다면, but if we remain sinners, 
예수 십자가 못 빠져 죽은 의미가 어디에 있습니까? 말도 안 되는 이야기입니다. Then what's the point of Jesus dying on the cross? That would be nonsense. 안타까운 것은 오늘 많은 사람이 교회를 다니지만 Sadly, even though many people go to church today. 예수 내 죄를 위해 사했다. Jesus forgave my sins. 그런데 또 죄를 지었다. But I still commit sins. 그러니까 죄인이라고 말하는 거죠. Therefore I'm a sinner, many people say. 예수님이 어떤 죄는 사하고 어떤 죄는 안 사했단 말이냐. So does it mean Jesus forgave certain sins and did not forgive other sins? 예수님 우리는 더 모든 죄 사하셨다. The Bible tells us that Jesus forgave all our sins. 내가 가장 잘 이야기하는 것이 What I most often talk about is 로마 3장 23절 24절인데 is Romans chapter 3 verses 23 and 24. 로마 3장 23절 우리가 죄를 범했다 하나님의 영광 이루지 못한다 그럽니다. Romans 3:23 tells us that we have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 23절만 보면 우리는 죄인입니다. When you look only at verse 23, we are sinners. 24절 전혀 다릅니다. But verse 24 says otherwise. 24 뭐냐면, what is verse 24? 우리가 죄인이 아니고 의롭다고 되어 있습니다. It tells us that we are not sinners, but we are justified. 우리가 죄를 어떻게 의로워? We have sinned. How could we be justified? 예수 십자에 못 박혀 죽으실 때, because when Jesus was crucified, 우리 죄를 위하여 죽었기 때문에, He died for our sins. 우리가 죄를 지었지만 그 죄가 십자에 사해진 거다. Even though we have committed sins, those sins were forgiven at the cross. 가장 중요한 것은, most importantly, 내가 죄를 지었습니다. I have committed sin. 거짓말도 하고 I lied. 복지로 많은 죄를 지었습니다. I committed theft. I committed many sins. 그럼 내가 재판장입니까? 하나님이 재판장입니다. However, am I the judge or is God the judge? 우리는 재판장이 아닙니다. We are not the judge. 반장이 하나님입니다. It is God who is the judge. 자 로마 3장 23절 분명 우리가 죄인인데. In Romans 3:23, surely we are sinners. 24절에 뭐라고 했습니까? But what does it say in verse 24? 우리는 죄인이라고 생각했습니다. We thought we were sinners. 근데 24절에 보면은. But in verse 24, 그리스도 예수 안에는 구속으로 말미암아. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Here it says that God has justified us. We have committed sins. But God says that we are justified. No matter how much I've sinned. 하나님이 의롭다면 의로운 것입니다. If God says I'm justified, then I am righteous. 하나님 거룩하다면 거룩한 것입니다. If God says I'm sanctified, I'm sanctified. 자이 성경에서 하나님 우리를 의롭다 그랬습니까? 죄인이라 그랬어요. Here in the Bible, does God tell us that we are righteous or that we're sinners? 원래 우리는 죄인이었는데. Yes, we were sinners. 예수 십자에 못 박혀 죽어 심으로 말미암아. But through Jesus dying on the cross. 그래서 우리 모든 죄의 값을 다 치루었습니다. He paid the price of all of our sins in full. 우리의 벌받을 모든 모든 죄부를 다 벌받으셨기 때문에 He received all the punishment for our sins. 하나님 우리 어렵다고 하는 것이죠. Therefore God tells us that we are righteous. 여기에 하나님 말씀은 인간의 생각이 있습니다. Here is the difference between the thoughts of man and the word of God. 내가 나를 보면 When I look at myself, 도주도 하고 I committed theft. 거짓말도 하고 I lied. 죄를 지었습니다. I committed sins. 죄인입니다. I'm a sinner. 내 하나님 나를 보고 뭐라고 했습니까? But God sees me and says what? 어렵다고 했습니다. You are justified. Why is he saying am I, I am justified? Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So even today there are two kinds of churches. The people who believe the word of God. They believe the word of God. People who believe their own thoughts. They believe their own thoughts. They say, in my eyes, I committed sin, so I'm a sinner. 내가 뭐 죄를 지고 저 사실이지만, yes, it's true that you have committed sins. 그러나, but 하나님이 의롭다면 의로운 겁니다. If God says you are justified, you are righteous. If God says you are sanctified, you are holy. I committed sins. I feel guilty in my conscience. I'm afraid and ashamed. But what does God say about me? You are justified. The amazing thing is, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, being justified freely by His grace. Not because we did do something. Without any works of ours whatsoever. God did the work. We have been 
justified. It is not by our efforts and labor and wage. 아무 대가 없이 without any wage. 은혜로. By grace. 예수 우리 죄를 주셨습니다. Jesus died for our sins. 그래서 하나님은 우리를 의롭다고 하셨어요. That's why God tells us that we are righteous. 자, 이제 중요한 게 뭐냐면 So the important thing here is 우리가 우리 생각을 믿느냐 하나님 말씀을 믿느냐. Are we going to believe our thoughts or the word of God? 우리는 죄를 지었으니까. We have committed sins. 죄인이라고 말합니다. We say that we're sinners. 좋습니다. Okay. 죄인입니다. We are sinners. 근데 예수 십자에 못 박혀 죽으셔서 But Jesus died on the cross. 우리가 받은 모든 죄벌을 다 벌받았기 때문에 And because he received all the punishment for all of our sins. 죄인이 아니라는 것이. Therefore we are not sinners. 의롭다는 것이. We are righteous. 의롭다는 말은 Justified means 죄인이 아니라는 이야기. It means we are not sinners. 자, 그럼 오늘 우리가 두 가지 종류 사람이 있습니다. So today there are two kinds of people. 한 분은 예수의 베데스다 연못가에 가셨습니다. Once Jesus went to the pool of Bethesda. 그게 38년 된 병자가 있었어요. And there was a man with an infirmity for 38 years. 예수 따라갔습니다. And Jesus went up to him. 네가 낫고자 하느냐 물었습니다. He asked him, "Wilt thou be made whole?" 병자가 뭐라 그럽니까? And what did the sick man say? 주여 물이 동할 때에 나를 못에 넣어 주사 하면서 내가 안도한 다른 사람 먼저 내려가나요? Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another stepeth down before me. 주여 물이 동할 때 나를 못에 넣어 줄 사람이 없어. Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. 이거는 우리 구원받지 못한 사람입니다. This is us people who have not been saved. 우리 스스로 못에 들어갈 힘이 없다는 겁니다. Meaning on our own we have no strength to get into the pool. 다른 사람도 먼저 들어가 버린다. Other people end up going in first. 난안 된다. I am incapable. 이 사람 왜못 들어갑니까? Why is this man unable? 사람 다리가 다 말랐기 때문에 걸을 수가 없는 겁니다. His legs are all withered. He cannot walk. 예수님 그 다음에 뭐라고 말씀을 주십니까? But then what did Jesus say to him? 일어나 내 자리 들고 걸어가라. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. 자, 이 사람이 걸어갈 수 있는 사람입니까? Is this person capable of walking? 걸어갈 수 없는 사람. He is incapable. 걸어가려고 하다 안 됐습니다. He had tried, he failed. 걸어가려 다른 사람 먼저 가도 자기 못 걸어갔습니다. He tried, other people would get in first. He could not walk. 근데 예수님께서 But Jesus tells him. 사람 보고 말하기를 He tells him. 일어나 내 자리 들고 걸어가라. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. 자, 여기 두 가지 생각이 있는데. So here there are two kinds of thoughts. 하나는 자기 생각이. One is his own thoughts. The other is the word of Jesus. In his own thoughts, he cannot get up and walk. But when Jesus tells him, take up your bed and walk, he has to select one or the other. In my own thoughts, I cannot walk. But Jesus tells me to walk. If he's going to follow his own thoughts, he will say, I cannot walk. But if he's going to follow the words of Jesus, if Jesus says to walk, it means he's made me able to walk. That is the important thing. I can't walk. I cannot walk. I have many sins. I am in darkness. I can't walk. I tried for 38 years, but I have failed. And the sick man had given up on trying to walk. But he met Jesus. He can't walk. Get up and walk. I can't walk. Here, the thoughts of the sick man and the thoughts of Jesus are different. To believe in Jesus is to throwing away your thoughts and accepting the word of Jesus. I cannot walk. I've tried, but I failed. I cannot walk. But if Jesus says to walk, he's God. He's not man. I believe him. I can walk. Therefore, he was able to walk. But if you believe your own thoughts, saying, I cannot walk. How can I walk? I can't walk. That's what happens. This sick man, for 38 years, he was unable to walk. He knows he can't walk. But, I cannot walk, but, 
예수님이 그러라면 그러. If Jesus tells me to walk, I can 예수님 walk. 예수님 그러라 그랬어. Jesus said to walk. 난내 생각 안 믿고. I'm not going to believe my God. 예수님 말씀 믿을 거야. I'm going to believe the words of Jesus. 그리고 발을 내 디딜 때. And then he took his steps. 참 그러진 겁 He was able to walk. 38년 된며 그럴 수 있을 때. The man with the infirmity for 38 years, he walked. 마음에 이런 과정을 이해해서 걷게 된 거야. It was through this process in his heart that he walked. 마음 안에 난 생각 못 건다 그러고. In his heart he thought I cannot walk. 예수님 말씀 걸어가라 그러고. But the words of Jesus tells him to walk. 자 내가 내 생각을 따라가면 예수님 말씀을 따라가면. So will you follow your own thoughts or the words of Jesus? 내 생각을 버리고. Throwing away your thoughts. 예수님의 말씀을 따라야 하는 것이. And we must follow the word of Jesus. 그이 병자는 어떻게 했습니까? So what did the sick man do? 주여 나는 정말 못 걷는 줄 압니다. Lord, I know I can't walk. 그러나 당신의 말씀에 그렇게 But at thy word I will walk. 베드로도 그랬잖아요. So did Peter. 깊은데 거물을 던져라. Cast the net into the deep. 내 생각 안 되던데. In my thoughts I can't. 주여 우리가 밤마다 수고를 하였을 때. Lord, we have toiled all night long. 모든 것이 없습니다. Yet have taken nothing. 거물을 던져 안 됐습니다. We cast the net, it didn't work. 말씀에 어찌 던지겠습니까? But now at thy word we will let down the net. 자기 생각에는 안 되는데. In his own thoughts it's not going to work. 예수님은 고기를 낚아 잡아라. But Jesus says, go out and catch the fish. 자기 생각을 버려야 거물을 다시 던질 수 있어. He has to throw his thoughts away to be able to cast the net again. 우리는 38년 못 걸은 사람이. The man with the infirmity, he could not walk. 나못 걸은 건 확실해. He was clear, I cannot walk. 38년을 해봤어. I've tried for 38 years, it didn't walk. 그러나. But. 예수님이 그러면 걷는 거야. If Jesus says to walk, I can walk. 예수님 믿는 사람. That's the person who believes in Jesus. 제 문제 또 그렇습니다. Same thing with the problem of sin. 죄를 많이 지었어. I committed lots of sins. 정말 거짓말을 많이 하고. I told so many lies. 도둑질도 많이 하고. I committed so much theft. 나쁜 짓을 참 많이 했어. I've done so many bad things. 죄인이 맞아. That's right. I'm a sinner. 그러나. But. 하나님이 의롭다면 의로운 거야. If God says I'm justified, I am righteous. 예, 그걸 믿는 겁니다. That's what it is to believe. 내 생각을 따라가는 게 아니고. Not following your own thoughts. 내 생각을 따라가면 난못 걷는다. 거기 있습니다. If you follow your own thoughts, you'll remain that. 내 생각을 버리고. But throwing your thoughts away. 예수님 말씀을 따라. And following the words of Jesus. 이게 신앙이란 것입니다. That's what faith is. 이게 하나님을 믿는 것입니다. That's what it means to believe God. 하나님 인간이 아닙니다. God is not human. 내가 못 한다고. Just because you are unable. 하나님도 못 하는 게 아니에요. Does not mean God is unable. 내가 못 끊는다고. Just because you can't walk. 하나님도 못 끊는 게 아니에요. Doesn't mean God can't walk. 내가 못 낳는다고. Just because you cannot give birth. 하나님도 못 하는 게 아니에요. Does not mean just God cannot heal you. 놀라운 것입니다. It's amazing. 제가 그날 아프리카 라이베리아에서 전화 왔어요. Once I got a phone call from Liberia, Africa. 아 모사님 여기 아프리카 라이베리아인데요. Oh pastor, this is Liberia, Africa. 모사님 제일 아니에요. 제일 안 죽어가고 있어. Oh pastor, you know John Choi, John Choi is dying. 내가 사람아 좀 차분해봐. I said, hey, come on, calm down. 예예 차분해 얘기하겠습니다. Yes, I will speak. 제일 아니에요. 중간에서 죽어가고 있어. Oh John Choi has been stung by a scorpion and he's dying. 중간에서 죽어가고 있어. He was stung by a scorpion and he was dying. 형제가 그날 밤에 너무 더워가 창문을 열어놓고 That brother that night was very hot so he left the window open 모기장 안에 들어가 잤어요. And he was sleeping inside the mosquito net. 자주야 한 것인데 And later on he found out 자다가 발이 모기장 밖으로 나왔어요. While sleeping his foot was outside of the mosquito net. 정가에 깨 쏘였어요. And he got stung by a scorpion. 아, 아, 아빠 잠이 깼어요. Ouch! And he woke up from his sleep. 아무것도 없는 거예요. But there was nothing there. 뭐야? What was that? 다시 이제 잠이 들었어요. And again he fell asleep. 아침에 일어났습니다. And he got up in the morning. 그 형제가 아나 어쩐 이게 잔 누가 발을 바늘로 찔렀어요. And the brother said, last night somebody poked my foot with a needle when I was sleeping. 그 뜻이 증가할까? Hey, maybe it was a scorpion. 야 웃기지 마 우리 방에 무슨 증가리 있어. Come on, don't joke about that. There's no scorpion in our room. 근데 이 형제가 오후쯤 됐어요. But later on in the afternoon. 그래가지고 막 너무 속이 울렁거려서 화장실 갔는데. This brother felt so nauseous he headed to the bathroom. 화장실 한 5미터 앞에 쓰러졌어요. But five meters before the bathroom he collapsed. 기가 쓰러지는 막 형이 달려가서 보니까. And when he collapsed, other brothers ran to him. 대변 소변을 폐설하고. He had urinated and defecated in his pants. 숨이 멎어가는 거예요. And he was running out of breath. 아 요한아 정신 차려 막 가슴을 때리고 하는데. And they pounded on his chest. Wake up, John. Wake up. 아자 아자 죽어가고 있어. He was dying. 얼른 이제 수돗물에 씻어가지고. They quickly washed him up. 병원에 갔습니다. And brought him to the hospital. 의사 딱 팔짱을 끼고. The doctor just crossed his arms. 데려가라고. Take him away. 죽었다고. He's dead. 
도와주세요. Please help us. 이 측면 증가를 써 있는데. He's been stung by a scorpion. 금방 와도 살까 말까. And 네. immediately after the sting you come here you still probably gonna die. 죽는다고. But it's too late he's gonna die. 독이 심장에까지 갔다. The poison has already reached his heart. 그래서 혈압도 다 떨어 죽어. And his blood pressure is falling. He's gonna die. Take him away. 사전에도 안 됐어. 님도 they begged. He said no. 갔어요. They went to another hospital. 똑같아. They said the same thing. 아, 예원을 했어. But they just begged and begged. 좀, 사, please, 죽어도, 죽어도, let 죽어도, us 죽어도, stay 죽어도. here. Help us out, please. 그래서 인거 주사 맞는데. And they put an IV on him. 숨이 멎었어요. He stopped breathing. 의사들이 또 시, 시, 심폐손술. The doctors performed CPR. <웃음> boom, boom. 이제 한두 시간 동안 했는데. And they did it for like two hours on him. 이제 맥이 뛰긴 하는데. His pulse was beating. 그때 이제 거의 그 혈압이 30, 체온이 17, 또 거의 시체와 같고. And his blood pressure had fallen to 30, body temperature was 17 degrees. He was like a dead body pretty much. 막그 지부장 울며 내한테 전화해. So the branch manager there called me crying. 내가 보니까 이 형제가 증가해서 죽어가고 있는데. In my eyes, this brother has been stung by a scorpion. He's dying. 지금 이제 막 맥은 뛰지만 거의 소망이 없어요. And even though he had a pulse, there was no hope. 근데 내 마음에 이사야 40장 31절이 생각이 났어. But in my heart I remember the words of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. 오직 여호와를 악망한 자는 새 힘을 얻으리. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 내가, 내가 요한이하고 통화할 수 있는가? I ask could I speak with John on the phone? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yes, yes. 야, 요한아, 방송 전화 번호. John, it's Pastor Oaks Park. Answer the phone. 여보세요. Hello. 어, 어, 아니. Yes, Pastor. 나 요한은 너내말 잘 들어. Hey John, listen carefully to what I'm saying. 나 오늘 아침에 성경을 읽었어. Oh, this morning I read the Bible. 이사야 40장 31절을 읽었어. I read Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. 그게 뭐라고 돼 있느냐면. And there it says. 오직 여호와를 악망한 자는 새 힘을 얻으리니. It said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 요한아 성경책 66권은 전부 다 하나님의 말씀이야. John, all 66 books of the Bible is the word of God. 하나님은 절대로 거짓말하지. And God, He never ever lies. 요한아 네가 증가의 독을 이기려면. John, for you to overcome the poison of the scorpion. 새 힘이 필요해. You need new strength. 근데 성경 여호와를 악망한 자는 새 힘을 얻는다고 했어. And the Bible says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 하나님을 바라봐. Look up to God. 하나님 악망하면 If you wait upon God, 하나님 새 힘을 주실 거야. God will give you new strength. 너는 얼마든지 전갈 독을 이길 수 있어. Then you are more than capable of defeating the poison of the scorpion. 10분 동안 자세히 설명을. I explained this to him in detail for 10 minutes. 와나. John. 빨리 일어나라. Hurry up and get up. <웃음> yes, Pastor. And I hung up the phone. John knew that he was dying. 자기가 지금 미국을 떠날 때, when he was leaving America, 아버지 공항에 와서 막 안아줬어요. The father came to the airport, gave him a big hug. 잘 다녀와. John, have a good trip. 그리고 이제 비행기를 탔어요. And then he got on the flight. 요한이 죽음 앞에서, and as John was dying, 아버지한테 한번 안기고 죽고 싶다. He thought, I wish I could get one more hug from my father. 돼요? But could that happen? No. He heard my words. 요하나, John, 66, the 66 books of the Bible is the word of God. And God never ever lies. If you wait upon God, surely God will give you new strength. Then you can overcome the poison 요하나, of the scorpion. 알겠어. Do you understand, John? I explained to him. Yes, Pastor. 어, John, hurry up and get up. I'm going to hang up the phone now. 알았어요. And I hung up the phone. 없어요. Now for John, God was the only way. And God, he never lies. So John began to look up to God. 하나님, God, God, give me new strength. I believe in you, God. God, I look up to you, God. And then he fell asleep. He snored and snored as he slept. 새벽이 됐는데, and early in the morning, 병실 지켜던 간호사가, the nurse who was keeping the hospital room, 아 이제 
And she was dozing off and then she woke up. Oh, the day is breaking. Oh, wait a minute, that man, the guy stung by the scorpion, he must be dead by now. I better go clean his dead body. And she came, the amazing thing was, he had been snoring and sleeping. She was shocked. She looked, his blood pressure was rising. She was stunned. She ran over to the doctor. Doctor, open the door. Well, what's going on? It's a miracle. Hurry up and come and see. The doctor ran over. And John's blood pressure was rising. Nurse, what did you do? What did you do, nurse? I didn't do anything. The next morning, John got up. The word of God is different from our thoughts. I believe Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. And I had John believe these words. John was dying. That if you wait upon the Lord, God will give you new strength. And because this is the word of God, you will surely come alive. I told him. The next day, John woke up from his sleep. Hey, brother, you okay? Oh, 괜찮아. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm all healed. 근데 그 상처는 아주 심했어요. And the wound was very bad. 상처가 발이 거의 썩었는데. His foot was all spoiled. 그래서 이제 발이 썩기 때문에 마취도 못 한다고 들어. And because the spoiled foot, they could not give him anesthesia. 그 이제 막그그 썩은 물 and they had to scrape off the spoiled part of his foot. It was very painful. But later on, that too completely healed. How thankful we are, we cannot say in words. And later on, he became healthy. And now he returned to LA. And there he got married and became a father of three. In our eyes, we're sinners. But God says we're not sinners. God says we are justified. I'm a sinner in my eyes. But if God says you're righteous, you're not the judge. God's the judge. Therefore, we are healed. We are righteous. Isn't this amazing? So our thoughts and God's thoughts are different. Instead of believing your own thoughts, it's about believing the word of God. Here, the ruler of the synagogue, there was a man at the synagogue who was demon-possessed. And Jesus told him, the demon possessed man, he was screaming, he said, Jesus of Nazareth, what have, I to do, what have we to do with thee? And Jesus rebuked him and said, and told the demon to come out, the demon came out. We, like the demon possessed man, we say we are sinners. But Jesus tells us your sins are forgiven. The Bible tells us our sins are forgiven. So if you follow your own thoughts, that means you're believing yourself. But throwing your thoughts away and believe the word of God, if our sins are forgiven, if he says are forgiven, then they are forgiven. Believing that is true faith. You're a sinner in your own eyes. But if God says you are justified, you are righteous. In many places of the Bible, God tells us we are righteous. I have sinned, how could I be righteous? That's why Jesus was crucified and washed all of our sins away. That is the true faith to believe in God. I'm a sinner in my own eyes. But through the death of Jesus, my sins are forgiven. When we believe in that truth, the works of God happens upon you. Thank you. We'll see you again next time. Thank you. Be there where grace abounds more. Pastor Oksu Park's lectures on the Gospel of Mark will continue every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on CTN. For spiritual counseling, visit us at gnmusa.org. Call 1-888-466-9846 for more information.